One last video on structures. This is about a dynamic array of structures. Let's say that you want to create an array, but you don't know how large it needs to be. Uh, setting the maximum is uh, inefficient, so we have the ability to dynamically allocate storage for an array, an array of structures, uh, anytime we want. It's done like this. I've uh, taken the basic program from teaching you how to do arrays with uh, structures and I'm going to convert it and do the same thing with uh, a dynamic array. Uh, I'm going to declare an integer that's going to tell me how many records I'm going to create. I'm going to create a pointer for an array of structures uh, to our canine structs. That pointer is illustrated by the asterisk right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user to input the number of records they want to create. So I'm going to say C out. Um, <coughs> please enter the number of records. And uh, when I do this, I won't create too many. And then put a semicolon there. And then C in. Uh, record count. Okay, now it's important that it follows in this order. We declare the record count. We declare the array of structures. I uh, ask for the number of records, and then this has to come after that. I say my dogs is equal to new canine structs, and then I give it the number of records. And what this does is it goes out and it creates enough space to store that many records, and puts that number, uh, puts the beginning address of that into my dogs. Now it works just like arrays from that point on out and uh, uh, I can um, call read array and pass it as a pointer or I can call print array and pass it as a, an array itself and as long as I pass in the count to uh, be sure how many it's going to work with it'll work just fine. Let me run this and show you how it works. Build it and I think we've got a syntax errors. No, it looks pretty good. And I'm going to run it. <coughs> so Please enter a number of records. I'll say three. We'll enter in three. Name of the dog is uh, uh, George. That's a good dog. He's a boxer and he is one year old and he weighs 50 pounds. Uh, Bill is a shepherd and he is uh, 12. An old dog weighs uh, 65 pounds. And then we will have, oh, oh no, no, let's say, uh, 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 Pippi, okay, he's a mutt, and 12 years old, and 12 pounds, and there we have it. So that's just an example of uh, a dynamic allocation of a struct, not terribly difficult, but uh, kind of handy. Look this over, I'll scroll the code here so you can take a look at it. Here's our structure, again, just to uh, uh, back go over some finer points. The structure is always uh, declared up in the global area. Here is our function prototypes. Notice the two different ways of passing a structure, my pointer and one as a, an array. And then uh, here's our dynamic uh, allocation right here. That's how you allocate the storage for it. And that's how you pass them. Well, hope this helps you out. Uh, enjoyed doing this. Look forward to doing another one. Have a good day.